bless my, my hidden treasure chest Golden grand piano, my beauty focused E.O.U. Ooh, you, yeah. ooh, I'd leave it all My acres of a land, I've achieved it may be hard for you to stop and believe but Hey guys, welcome back to Urban's Revamped. We have a pretty cool getaway planned for, uh, it's like a 24 hour getaway. So we're only like 90 minutes from Chicago. We're out by Starve Rock State Park. Not in the park, but we're in a, it's almost like a campground, but it's got its own private little getaway houses. They're like mini houses. So we've never been here before. I think it's fairly new, but we're gonna check it out. So we're only here for like 24 hours, just the night. Quick trip from the house, but we definitely need it, right? We need that detox for sure. It's good to get away, but uh, we're gonna share the experience with you guys so you have a place in mind if you're ever out here. One thing that you should know that I did not know until we got here, which is okay, I didn't know there was no TV. <laughs> it's a getaway. There's a cell phone lockbox, man, so we can get away from everything. It's fine. You are pretty entertaining. You can watch me. I'll entertain you. <laughs> but uh, we're going to settle in. We're cooking dinner tonight. You're cooking dinner. I'm cooking dinner tonight. <laughs> and then tomorrow, we may or may not show you some waterfalls in Star Rock State Park. All right, guys. Time to give you a tour of this mini house cabin trailer. I don't know what you call it. This is probably my favorite part. I've seen pictures online of this window, this picture window. You got nice shades to pull down, but let's keep them open during the day because it looks nice out. It's got a full kitchen, silverware, oil and cream, coffee, pots and pans and silverware, knives. So it's really got everything that you need. Hot and cold running water, that's good. Over here, tiny little bathroom. Probably want to pull the shade down. It's got a uh, hot water in here, but I heard it doesn't last real long. So even though we brought food to cook back at the little mini house, we wanted to come downtown Ottawa, see if we could find a place to eat. So we found Tangled Roots Brewing Company. We do have one a little bit closer to our house, but it's like a sister restaurant. This one's called The Lone Buffalo, so I know the food is gonna be awesome. We're gonna go in and check it out. I can't wait, because I'm starving. I know, Summer didn't want to wait for my cooking. And it was, it was only like three o'clock, so we knew we had to come eat something sooner. All right guys, I'm trying out the spicy pepperoni flatbread. It's got jalapenos, peppers on it, pepperoni, obviously. I'm not too hungry because I did bring food for us to cook later for dinner, but uh, I definitely need something to hold me over. But this looks outstanding, and it was recommended by the waitress. And I am starving and don't care that we're eating later. I'm still eating a lot now, so I got the bacon mac and cheese, and it looks good. All right, so we just finished. I don't know if you remember Jay saying we were just having a snack. That did not happen. They had too much good food. The staff here was amazing. I actually ran into somebody from high school. Shocking, um, especially in such a small town, but it was really good. Definitely check it out. So what's super cool is you don't have to come here with anything. They actually have firewood, fire starter, everything already all in here for you. It's not like just one little bunk. It's actually enough firewood for like the entire night. So I don't know if we're gonna start it yet, but at least get it ready. So we just got back from eating. Jay started the fire. This is really relaxing. I could actually fall asleep right here. There is not a single sound around here. This is so peaceful, so quiet. I'm telling you, if you guys really want to get away close to Chicago, this is definitely the place to come. So tomorrow we talked about it. We do have planned to go hit Star of Rock State Park and uh, catch a couple of the trails, see some of the waterfalls. It's a really nice state park. We haven't been there in a while, but there's a lot of really cool scenic stuff to see. So while I was looking for firewood, even though we don't need any because we got a bunch, I just wanted to look around. I found this rock. It says, have a nice day. And it says, you may keep this rock or put it someplace for someone else. I remember my kids used to do this when they were little. So I'm actually going to keep it for now and bring it with us tomorrow, I think, and put it somewhere. Pretty cool. It's time to start cooking a little dinner. I'm doing a chicken over like a uh, Parmesan garlic pasta. So everything is actually here. The knife is super sharp. There's cutting boards pots, pans, good for pasta. There's a colander lid on there, so that's awesome. But I can't complain. I'm seriously not missing anything. For such a small place, there's really 
a totally full kitchen here for the most part. One thing they don't have is an oven, but they do have tin foil and we do have a fire, so the day is saved for that. These are going right on the right on the fire. So dinner turned out super good. After dinner, we decided to shut everything down, the camera, our phones, everything, and just sit back and relax. I'm an early bird, so I'm up already. It's probably in the upper 30s, but no wind, so it's actually a pretty nice day. It should be nice to get over to Star Rock and get a little hiking in. Summer's still in bed sleeping, but I do have a cup of coffee. I'm gonna finish this thing up. About to go wake Summer up, make her some coffee, and get her rolling. So this is me in the morning. Jada woke me up with some coffee and it surprisingly was really good. I was a little nervous. It actually is probably better than most coffee that I drink. Waking up to this setting outside is awesome. It's so pretty out here in the morning. It's a little chilly outside, but this place stayed so warm. This bed is really, really comfortable, which I was a little nervous about, but I slept really, really good. So I'm ready to get this day started. Guys, so we missed some rain and snow and we made it over to Starve Rock, super nice. And it's not very crowded because it is super chilly out, but beautiful, beautiful. We're on our first trail. Which one are we in? Oh. We're in a, we're in a canyon called French Canyon. So the trail's like half a mile from the actual visitor center. But boy, is it super cool checking this place out. I actually like that the weather is this temperature because I wouldn't want to be like sweating through all this. So it actually is <laughs> kind of nice. Awesome, A little awesome. chilly, but it's nice. We're gonna find some other trails. Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made it up to Lover, Lover's Leap. I'm a little bit aggravated because Jay's a liar. He said it was like a half mile. It was definitely a mile to a mile and a half uphill. It, it was. was rough. It was a lot of stairs. A super lot of stairs. Well, look up here. Isn't it awesome It is now? really nice view, though. Well worth it. My nose started running on the way up. <laughs> that was like the only thing running. <laughs> you were, you were, uh, Dragon. Uh, I was, I was. We passed a group of people that were definitely a good 20 years older than me and they were not in the same shape as me. I don't understand. <laughs> but uh, one more path. We gotta find a good waterfall. So there's a couple other trails we're gonna go check out and see if the water's flowing. All right. I'm Can excited. you make it? I'm gonna, we get to go downhill now, right? <laughs> yeah, we get to go downhill. Can you make it to the St. Louis Canyon? We just got back from that from that lover's leap, and the path to the St. Louis Canyon is like it's all up. It's a lot of stairs right now. I think I need to sit on that bench and take a break first. This whole thing's been a break for you so far. <laughs> man. Last one. We'll go up this trail, see what we see. I'm gonna have to take a break when I get to the top. <laughs> it's a lot of stairs. It's a workout. I thought it stopped here. Just turning the corner. I thought we were relaxing this weekend. This is not relaxing. This is exercise, and this is worse than the last trail. It still goes up more. It's just a few more. <laughs> it's like never ending. There better be like a pot of gold or a freaking, or a beer or something at the top of this thing. Guys, we finally made it to the St. Louis Canyon. It was definitely a hike. It was worth it. It was hard, but it was worth it. It's very, Seeing very where pretty. we're at now, this is uh, 
This is insane. Insanely like beautiful place. A cave and a waterfall. It's really nice. You want the good news or bad news? Good news. Good news is we can go home. Okay, bad news. It's probably like a mile and a half, two miles back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to sit here and I'll go back and get the car and get you? <laughs> if that was possible, I would say yes. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, we are about to wrap up our day, but we're going to start the hike back. All right, if you guys remember, I told you I found this rock, so it is time to place it. Not super obvious, but not super hidden. I'm going to put it in between this tree. If you make it out to Starve Rock and you find that rock, let us know. All right, guys, we're wrapping up our trip, our 24-hour getaway trip. Right on the Illinois River, it's back by the Visitor Center for Starve Rock, and then we're heading to the car. We got like an hour drive home. It was a long walk here. <laughs> if you guys want to know where we stayed, um, we'll throw the link in the description. It's the getaway cabins and uh, where we went to eat. Tangled Roots yeah. Brewing Company, yeah. the Lone Buffalo. Throw that link in the description too. But I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions about anything you saw, definitely drop it in the comments and we will try to answer everything the best we can. But uh, totally rejuvenated, refreshed, ready to start the week. Make sure you wear good hiking shoes. And also don't trust your husband when, you sa when he says it's just right around the corner. It's it not. was, it was just a big corner. Until our next video, we will see you guys later.